over the past two years, the economy has made considerable progress toward the Fed's 2% inflation goal, and labor market conditions have cooled while remaining strong. In the labor market, a broad set of indicators suggests that conditions have returned to about where they stood on the eve of the pandemic, strong but not overheated. A restrictive monetary policy stance is helping to bring demand and supply conditions into better balance and to put downward pressure on inflation. The committee has stated that we do not expect it will be appropriate to reduce the target range for the federal funds rate until we have gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. Incoming data for the first quarter of this year did not support such greater confidence. The most recent inflation readings, however, have shown some modest further progress and more good data would strengthen our confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. We continue to make decisions meeting by meeting. We know that reducing policy restraint too soon or too much could stall or even reverse the progress that we've seen on inflation. At the same time, in light of the progress we've made both in lowering inflation and in cooling the labor market over the past two years, elevated inflation is not the only risk we face. Reducing policy restraint too late or too little could unduly weaken economic activity and employment. In considering adjustments to the target range for the federal funds rate, the committee will continue its practice of carefully assessing incoming data and their implications for the evolving outlook, the balance of risks, and the appropriate path of monetary policy.